Peace, peace, good people. Baldhead Harrisman here coming out to give you guys Taurus this reading. So if you are a Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, or if you just have a plethora of Tauran placements, come in. This reading is for you, okay? Um, For my returnees, my OGs, thank you guys for coming back. And for my newcomers, welcome. I hope that you do choose to stay. If this is your very first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go through some of the other vids, you know, watch what calls out to you and, you know, see if you resonate with it, right? <clears throat> Readings um, speak to your soul. So, you know, when a reading is yours, right? You just, And I try to, you know, make sure I title my readings in such a way that, you know, you'll know if it's for you because it will be in alignment with something that you are experiencing in your life at that time. Okay. So, again, thank you all for being here. So, Taurus, it is your turn. This is your day. Let's get this reading up and going. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and call in the spirit of love, the spirit of light, spirit of life, the spirit of harmony and wholeness, the spirit of truth and accuracy. Over this reading for Taurus, sweet spirit, I will soon have the collective of Taurus here. So show us what you know. Give us information that will help us on this path. I'm shame. Show us clearly what it is that you would like to share with us under grace and in a perfect way. Mmm, new power. I say I'll definitely take that. I'll take that. Show me more and show me clearly. A new opportunity. Some type of new creative venture. Some type of new creative force, Taurus. Some type of new. Some type I'm not gonna take those. Some type of new. enthusiastic um venture mm -hmm. now let me tell you something taurus let me tell you something taurus women listen come here come up to the screen a lot of times this means that you're going to meet a man with a very firm phallus okay a lot of times this ace of wands or ace of staves in some deck means a strong penis masterful sex masterful um man with a very masterful penis okay so if that's what you've been asking for if that's what you've been looking for if that's what you've been desiring and calling in hello <laughs> hello all right show me more and show me clearly show me more and show me clearly Mm, and he might be a Leo. <laughs> it might come from a Leo man, okay? I'll say to that. Um, <clears throat> just with these two cards here, I can tell that Tauruses, um, when you're granted strength, when the Leo card comes out, you're being granted um, a higher level of confidence, you, it's, it's, it's like a real, it's like a reuniting or a reestablishment or a reestablishing of self-confidence. Okay. Um, which is an indication that you may have lost it. Something you came from not having it to having it in abundance and on a whole different level. Okay. So, um, some, something's getting, something's preparing you for this Ace of Wands. Now, place the energy of the Ace of Wands in your life however you see fit, right? For some of y'all, it is the masterful man. For some of y'all, it's a creative idea and it's already been blessed and blissed. And all you got to do is stay focused on your creativity, right? Either way, you, you're being granted strength, enthusiasm, confidence, and courage to unfold this new this newness okay either way and some of you all may have leo uh placements okay some of you all may have leo placements and you may even have leo in the eighth house okay so place this energy where it belongs if you have leo in the eighth house and you are a taurus son 
I believe this is most definitely for you, okay? Show me more and show me clearly. Thank you, sweet spirit. Give me more information for Taurus. The chariot movement. Absolutely. Um, I know that we have just recently come out of eclipses that most definitely affected Taurus. The first one was um, in Libra which affected Taurus because Libra is our sister sign. We're both ruled by Venus. So anytime Libra is experiencing something, we experience it right along with them, right? Just like in real life, when your sister going through something, don't it affect you? So it's no different with these celestial bodies, okay? And where we fit in with them. And then the second one was actually in Taurus, okay? Um, <laughs> listen, some things were, some things were um, tossed out and reset for a lot of Tauruses. Movement is now taking place again. A lot of Tauruses have been halted. A lot of Tauruses were stuck, hoofs down in uh, quicksand, feeling like you were drowning, feeling like you were sinking, feeling like you had no control. You felt powerless, okay? You felt like mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, sexually, your mojo was probably gone. Now, for you um, Taurus men, this may have even affected your sex life. This may have affected your penis. You Maybe you, were, you, maybe you wasn't getting hard no more because you had other stuff going on. Your, your, your mental and your spiritual and your emotional body just would not let the blood flow to your phallus, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, especially to you, to you elevated Taurus men, because when you are, when you are an elevated Taurus, you know that if other areas of your life ain't right, you not even, you not even into sex. Okay. When, when a Taurus is money ain't right, when a Taurus security and stability ain't right, man or woman, sex is the last thing on a Taurus's mind. So again, you mean this may be a reestablishing. Something has taken place where you are now reestablished in your sexual life and you feel mighty and matchless and masterful because other things in your life are back in rotation, right? Okay. Okay, honey. Good shout out to the Taurus women who are going to run into this man. <laughs> Girl, you about to get it all. But um, yeah, there, there's been a movement taking place, okay? There's been some type of achievement through effort and through some type of self-mastery that has your chariot back up and going, Taurus, okay? I see some wonderful things. I see some wonderful things. Also, I'm hearing something. You had to stop something, something, something. Two things I'm hearing. Something stopped your confidence. Something, something did it. it you did not just arrive at having a lack of self-esteem, a lack of confidence, a lack of enthusiasm about your life, your, your, your dreams, your project, whatever you had going on or, or whatever, you know, place the energy where this belongs, wherever your lack of self-esteem came in, something or someone caused it. Now, what I'm hearing is you've had to leave that, leave them, leave that place. And you did. Okay. Or you may be in the process of leaving like you know you got the assignment okay you understood what it, what your higher self told you to do so you're in the process of leaving moving because this is in the future uh position so anything in the future position is going to end with ing because it's it's in the process of happening okay so some of y'all have left okay and some of y'all are leaving some of y'all have tapped into this ace of wands and i'm gonna pull more cards for sure because either way whether you're whether you've already left or you're leaving i believe that you're already receiving the fruits of the decision to leave you're already seeing some 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 um heightenedness in your energy things are coming back in place for you 
Okay, things are coming back in place for you. That eclipse, that Taurus, that Taurus eclipse was necessary. Some 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 Tauruses um don't know when to leave. Spirit told me to fix that. So all Tauruses know when to leave. Some Tauruses just become content and complacent and don't want to leave because I believe that there may have been some securities, whether they were emotional, financial, egotistical, spiritual, maybe even sexual. For some reason, you made a decision to stay in a stuck place because there was a comfort there. But <laughs> listen, swing low, sweet chariot. Something is coming. Some some type of energy came through and rebooted you, reunited you. But it came th it came by way of your own. Um, it came by way of your own achievement, though. It came by way of your own achievement, your own desire to, to move. I think what happens with Tauruses, and I can, I speak so proudly about Tauruses because I am a Taurus son, okay? Um, a lot of times we leave things mentally before we leave them physically. So a lot of y'all, your physical body was still in a situation at a, at, you know, at a place at, you know, with a person, you know, still experiencing it from a physical standpoint, but mentally you are already gone. Okay. Your, your, so your body had to, or is having to catch up with your mental self because your mental self had already checked out. Okay. <laughs> had already checked out. All right. Thank you spirit. And show me more queen of cups. Absolutely feeling so in alignment with your intuition. Your intimacy has been reset. And then look, this ain't by accident that this card came out on that Ace of Wands. Sex and sensuality and romance and chivalry and sensuality, eroticism, call it whatever you want to call it. All of that is being restored for the Taurus. Whether you are engaging and embracing this within thyself and with thyself or you're ready to share it with someone it doesn't even matter it's just <laughs> listen you're gonna have uh what's the word uh your cup of flo uh, floweth over in that area so whether you keep it all to yourself and use it all on yourself or you are ready to slash it out and share it with all types of people or you got one particular person that you want to share it with either way you have an emotional, sensual, sexual overflow. You're gonna you're gonna sprinkle a little bit on probably a lot of different people, maybe just in different ways. I mean, you might go to work or have been back at work, and everybody's just noticing this very attractive magnetism coming from you. Okay. Because that's what it is. Masterful. Magnetism. And it's matchless. Come on, Taurus. Come on, Taurus. Show me more and show me clearly for the sign of Taurus. Okay. Now, listen. Look at that. The lovers. The two of cups. <laughs> and the queen of pentacles. Let me tell you something. My cards never lie and my spirit never misguides me. Some of you are ready for love and you are going to get it. And not only are you going to get it, but you're going to get it exactly how you want it. It's going to come in a unified manner. Marriage or immediate exclusivity. Immediate. It's not going to be a let's, let's meet each other and, and get to know. No, 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 no you're going to meet your person. And for some of you, listen, I say, I say, this is somebody that you've dated before. This is somebody that is coming back into your world and both of y'all are elevated. I don't care what you used to be, what he used to be. I don't even care what they did to you in the past or what you did to them. I don't care how it busted up, how it ended up. Neither one of y'all are that person anymore. Both of y'all are elevated, seasoned versions of yourself. So when you meet back up, it's not going to be a uh, still holding on to the rejection, still holding on to the pain of the, what you cause. When, none of that. None of that. When you get, when you, when you can see both of y'all want one another. 
what you want wants you. So when y'all, when the wants meet up, it's going to be automatic. Okay. And there's going to be an, there's going to be a, somebody going to do some proposing. And, and, and again, the proposal might be, let's go on and get married. Cause I don't want to ever lose you again. Or it just could be, we're going to go ahead and jump on into a exclusive relationship because we already know we want each other. We don't have to go through the, we don't have to go through this. We know what's up. We know what's up. I'm telling you, Taurus, I, I knew, I'm telling you, yeah, <laughs> You're at a point in your life where you are ready to love and be loved, support and be supported. You're ready to shower someone with intimacy, sensuality, sexuality. Uh, I know I'm talking to the type of Tauruses who you're very nurturing. So your relationship isn't all, it, it's, it's going to be masterful sex for sure. Okay, because that's how y'all that, that that's how you're going to, you know. But there's something else about you, a type of a, a unique type of love that you have crafted and created that you are ready to share with your mate, male or female. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you something, and, and 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 I don't care how old you are. I don't I don't care if this is what you want, or maybe you said that you didn't want it. Now let me let me say that some of y'all are getting ready to get pregnant by this person. You let me tell you why, and it's bigger than you. I know somebody said, uh, uh, don't bring that shit up, and I'm too old. If you, if you still get wet, and you ain't had no hysterectomy. And you're not suffering from no type of reproductive issues, baby. You can still have a baby. You have you have not depleted all of your eggs. Now, now, now on a on a deeper spiritual tip, listen to me and listen to me closely because this is coming directly from spirit. The reason why I know that some of y'all are going to get together and there's going to be a baby made is because there's a soul in the ethers that have been waiting for you two to do this. Because it wants to come specifically through y'all. There is a soul in the waiting room of the heavens that wants to come into this realm. And it's been waiting for y'all to get back in alignment with one another. Okay? Whoever this little baby is going to be, it's going to be a little old soul. I tell you that. But it's going to be a love child. It's going to be a love child. Now, of course, that isn't for everybody. Okay, some of y'all don't want kids and you're going to do everything in your power to make sure that you don't have any. And then some of you, hey, you're open. Okay, and and <laughs> for those of you who are open and you're and you are not in denial, you've come up out of the river and you say, dear universe, bless me with that which you see is best for me. Then y'all are going to be the ones that may experience that either way. You are moving in a queen of pentacles energy, which, me, which means you have so much to share, so much nurturing and comfort and warmth and love. Why not give it to a little baby that wants to come into this realm? You would be the best mother, the best father. Y'all will be the best parents for that baby. Okay, let's keep going. Show me more and show me clearly. If you're in, uh, um, if this reading is interesting to you, please uh, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. I know for some of you Taurus, this has been a long time coming. Something, something happened in the past that was. Um, look at the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, did I not just say that y'all would be the best parents? You would be the best. You would be the best. Um, stewardess. Is that the word? Steward, steward. You would be the best parents for the child because you're going to be in a position to financially take care of the child, emotionally take care of the child, spiritually. What y'all are going to put in the child is just going to be in alignment with what the universe wants to usher into this realm. Love child, love children, love babies because they just operate different. You can, you know, children that wasn't made out of love. Good God, them are the bullies. Those are the ones that pick with little children who 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 are clearly well loved. Okay, so I don't want to get off into all of that. People just need to be very careful who they procreate with. Okay, you ain't got no business having no baby with somebody, that, you know, and y'all just doing one night stands and you know that's how you create demons. 
drug induced sex and then you bring in a baby what it can't be nothing but what the parents were when it made it right anyway the ten of pentacles is here um i believe that your relationship not only is it going to breed a beautiful seed the seed may or may not be a baby okay i don't want to keep pressing that because some of y'all you know might just feel like that's not me i can't even have kids if not that's fine because a seed can also be you um, getting with someone who's in a financial position for y'all to adopt. So let me tell you something, whether you bring the baby into this room or you be a blessing to a baby that just needs to be in a beautiful home, either way, you're, you, you're, whoever you're going to be with, y'all's energy will create some type of kosher, comfortable situation for a child, okay? Now, the Ten of Pentacles um, um, talks about being... financially affluent um a lot of times it speaks on meeting someone who's very uh, not meeting you already are um with someone or you are that person who does not mind being the breadwinner for the family okay you are in a position to secure your family Okay, um, this most definitely is, a, oh, I know what I was about to say before the Ten of Pentacles came out. I know that I'm speaking to a few Tauruses who it's been a long time coming. And I feel like if you've dealt with rejection in the past, if you dealt with something that was heartbreaking in the past, if you've dealt with something that caused you to lose faith and lose trust in love, excuse me, <clears throat> um, that's going to be reestablished with this energy here. The Ace of Wands is a reestablishment um, in things that you've lost enthu enthu enthusiasm about, okay? So I just wanted to make sure that you guys know it doesn't matter um, what you've been through. Matter of fact, anything that happened before today don't even exist. It never happened, Okay. It never even happened. <laughs> that's how you have to look at it because that's what it is. It never happened. You can't go back to do anything. We current we are we're always and currently and will forever be in the present, in the now and the now and the now. And what we even consider the future is still the now. It's just slideshows of the now and the now and the now. That's why you have to stay current with yourself. Okay? A lot of people end up stuck in the past because they don't know that they must continue to move forward. Nothing, if you're stuck in the past, there's nothing that's going to come back there and get you. You're just there by yourself, okay? That that goes right along with New Earth, for those of you who know, you know, the New Earth uh, conversation. If you back on New Earth, <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're back on Old Earth, and you know people who are on old earth because they're still doing things that they were doing 15 years ago, 10 years ago. They have There's been no elevation in their mental process. There's been no elevation. They're doing the same exact thing. They're stuck in a consistent loop of, I don't want to call it nothingness, but just stuck in a loop, okay? But if you're here watching this reading, that's not you even though you may be able to relate to it because you know people who are, that's not you. You have been granted some type of um, masterful new beginning, okay? Um, you had a great awakening. Um, your great awakening reset you. So again, the trust that you may have lost in the past, it was reset. Nothing, nothing that you did, it's not like somebody came and, apologized or I think it was just your season your time to be reset it this was a blessing maybe, maybe the universe saw that you were stuck okay and maybe you for whatever reason okay because sometimes we can shoot rockets of desires vibrationally into the ethers and if you don't have the strength to grasp hold to a newness that's when your spirit guides come in and say, bless that baby hard. Let's just go ahead and help him or her out of that drowning river that they're in, okay? So, so you, so many of you were pulled out of the river, okay? 
So let me just go back and fix that. When I said nothing from the, nobody's going to come and save you from your past. Let me, I actually have to scratch that because for some of you, God did, okay? Whatever you, whatever God is to you, whatever God is to you, okay? But you were granted some type of um, upliftment, some type of lifting up and out of some things that uh, were trying to hold you down and hold you back and keep you from getting to where you're at now. So anyway, let's move on past that because <laughs> clearly, clearly you're past that now. And that was just for a few of you. I don't even feel like this, this is a, you know, that part was for the collective. That was just for a few of you whose hoofs were stuck down in the mud. That's why this chariot card came and, 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 and picked you up and placed your, you know, and spent you around and placed your feet on solid ground. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Some of y'all been working with your spirit guides. Some of y'all been really doing the work. And some of the work that you did in the past is paying off right now in your present list. Some of y'all been working with cinnamon. Some of y'all been working with cinnamon. I know that specifically spirit just showed me you've been working with cinnamon. It's something about cinnamon that you use. You did a, some type of cinnamon spell. Something about cinnamon that you've been doing and using. Okay. Something about cinnamon that you've been using or, or doing some type of ritualistic magic. And if you've been using a lot of cinnamon. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Show me more and show me clearly information for the Corin Collective. Let's see. King of Cups. And you thought I was playing. Look at that. Look at y'all. I came together. Did, did I not say? Did I not say? That no matter what. Nothing's going to stop this baby. Y'all are both here. But I knew that anyway. I said I knew that when the lovers. And, and the two of cups card came out. I knew that anyway. So see this ain't nothing but confirmation. Both of y'all are elevated in your divine feminine, in your divine masculine. That's why it's time for y'all to reconnect. That's why it's time. I, like I said earlier, and I'm, again, I got to say it again. I don't care what he did, she did in the past. Y'all got into it. It could have been a terrible breakup, okay? It could have been awful. Y'all might even got to fight. I don't care how bad it got. That's who y'all were. Neither one of y'all are that versions of yourself now. Neither one of y'all. You are so elevated in your energies that y'all can't do nothing but come together and share the cup. Do you hear me? Y'all can't do nothing but come together and share your cups. He's made for you. You're made for her. It's This is perfect. For a lot of y'all, you know exactly who this person is. Now, let me tell you something. For some of y'all that are going to say, well, I don't know because, you know, it ain't nobody from my past. It's okay because it could just be the same energy in a different package, meaning it might be a total different person on the outside. But the energy, the soul, the spirit of the person is in that body. Now, I ain't talking about no spooky, no spooky, you know, uh, soul jumping body. I'm talking about a lot of times we date the same people over and over and over. They just be in different bodies, same energy. OK, almost like uh, if you keep re, re, re when you're re gift. OK, <laughs> the same gift, same gift box. OK, same gift box. Am I saying it right? Same gift. Hold on, hold on. I'm confused myself. It's 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 a it's the same gift in the box, in a different package. That's okay. Excuse me for for getting it confused. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you're gonna get the energy of a person that you love. It might be the same person from the past or somebody seemingly different. They're going to be the same energy that you love. Even if in the past y'all had low vibrational encounters, you had those low vibrational encounters because both of y'all were young, immature souls. Okay. And 
Nine times out of 10, the universe brought y'all together way back then and you didn't even know it. You didn't even know that you were arguing with your husband, arguing with your wife, arguing with your forever person. Okay, arguing with your forever person. This reading is for sure about love. You are ready to experience this unique level of love that you have crafted and created for yourself with someone. And what you want wants you. Both of y'all, both of y'all have been separated probably for years doing the work, experiencing life, filtering things, assessing life, going through inventory, done been in bad relationships, good, good relationships, or no relationship at all. Whatever y'all been doing, both of y'all have been doing it consistently while y'all were apart. And neither one of y'all knew what the other was doing. Whole time, the universe was making sure that both of y'all leveled up mentally, spiritually, sexually, financially, you know, all them leaves because the spirit of love knew that it was going to eventually bring y'all back together and y'all were going to be in your elevated forms. Okay. Okay. So I don't have much more to say because this is where it is for you, Taurus. This is what you want. You know how I know this is what you want? Because this is what spirit gave me. I tap into the collective of Taurin energy. Okay, this is what you want. So be open, be receptive. Do not block this blessing. Uh, come out of denial. It's okay to say that you're ready for love. It's okay to want love and it's okay to practice the art of allowing love to come in. It's all of that is okay. Oh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. All of that is okay. Yeah, many of you are right here, right now, this very moment, taking inventory, getting shit out of the way. So when this new thing come in, when this new man, that new woman, that new love, when y'all reconnect and that new energy is born, you ain't going to have to deal with you might keep two of them cups because they're beneficial and they're supposed to be there. But you taking a, you're going through a process of elimination right now. So you can see some of y'all, you got too much on you. You can't see. So you're going, you're taking inventory and getting rid of people, places, things, and, and, and things that are trying to uh, 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 appear as options that are not options. They just end the way. They're obstacles and will stop you from tapping into what the universe really has for you okay let me see one more thing i want to know look at that the wheel of fortune you must you must take inventory you must get rid of anything that is not beneficial to you because the wheel of fortune is trying to turn in your favor it's trying to turn in your favor and it will but it's waiting on you to get rid of some stuff that's just no longer necessary, no longer needed, okay? Anything that you adopted and adapted to to, ma to mask rejection, to mask hurt ego, to, to, to mask pain, Spirit said, you don't even need that no more. You good. I don't I done reset you. You straight. I don't reset you. So tap this so this can roll on. So this can roll on in. <laughs> I'm hearing the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> that's funny. It was at the little barn that's all. But the reason I, I feel like the reason spirit gave me that is because that's what's happening. Spiritually and, and, and freak from a frequency standpoint, the wheel of favor is rolling on into you. Another reason why we got the cherry car movement. There is so much movement going on around you, Taurus. Listen, get rid of anything that will stop you from receiving this blessing, okay? I'm done because I could take this reading on. I really want to keep, I really want to do some more. I, I, I mess around and come on and do a part two because, you know, I am a Taurus, so I can speak about us all day long and all day strong, but uh, for the sake of time, I will conclude this message. If you loved it, liked it, please give me that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, please do. And thank you so much for joining me. Pieces. Did I say pieces? Lord, deuces. <laughs>